Hi, this is Maldovan Banerjee from Kolkata. I joined University of Engineering and Management because of its excellent faculty, lush green 32 acre campus, a very homely environment, the mess run by its own students, providing good quality veg and non veg food, and uh, excellent teacher student relationships, a lot, a lot of workshops held by the management, excellent lab facilities. Innumerable doubt clearing sessions where student and teachers sit down for a late night till the student gets to know the whole thing very clearly. Excellent uh, extracurricular activities like sports, drama, debate and uh, Jaipur, the place where the campus is located is well connected by trains which takes about uh, 24 hours through Kolkata. One can also reach the campus by travelling through Delhi. There is also a placement guarantee that the management promises to provide where a student is refunded the whole tuition fee uh, if he or she does not get placement provided uh, he or she fulfills the requisite conditions. Well, uh, if I am asked personally about my opinion about University of Engineering and Management, I would rather say it was a very dramatic, uh, dramatical way in which uh, my admission took place. Coming from a non-engineering background, I had a lot of fear whether uh, I would be able to cope up with the studies out there because uh, it's, it's a uh, far away place in Jaipur but as to the moment I reached Jaipur, the moment I reached the campus, trust me it was uh, like a feeling that my god it's my second home. I mean like the teachers are so friendly and ev everyone everyone present out there, I mean the students, everyone uh, within, a, within a span of about three months we had such a great bonding among ourselves that uh, I mean like uh, I, I haven't heard of an institute providing so much, so much uh, uh, exposure to any of its students. We are, we are like um, uh, this is this is this is the end semester break we are having, and uh, at this point of time, I'm just missing my campus. I mean, like my time is not getting spent out here. I'm just missing my campus like hell. Hi everyone, uh, to all the listeners there. Uh, I am Sumedha Bhattacharya, and uh, I'm a student of uh, Electronics and Communication Engineering and UN uh, UEM. Um, UEM actually, uh, I came across UEM uh, a bit late uh, when uh, all the sessions started, uh, when the when people started getting in the colleges. I was already studying in a college, uh, so um, uh, through the papers I uh, came across UEM. And uh, yes, of course, as it is a um, uh, part of IEM Trust, that is uh, that is a completely it's a already a very reputed and well established uh, uni institute in kolkata and uh, going through that it's like okay uem now that's it's completely under iem so yeah uh, listening to that part i i joined uem before joining uem i was um, kind of scared that um, means how will i be will i be able to uh, when I cooperate there or means after joining so late Will I be able to adjust with the uh, surroundings there completely? And um, uh, but when I joined, the the ambience there it's so friendly. Teachers, the faculty, it's uh, it's come the rapport with uh, each and every professor is so well. Uh, when a few uh, he, we are we are also provided uh, on campus uh, uh, professors. If we have any doubts, be it late night, be it in the morning. Everyone is ready for us, um, and um, we also had uh, in the starting of the session as we joined late. We had uh, uh, sessions. Um, we had uh, classes still uh, at late nights also. But we enjoyed that. That was not a completely pressurizing stuff. But we enjoyed. The teachers were very nice, and we could clear our doubts any time. Academically, this is uh, it's absolutely very uh, nice, and. Um, uh, going to the extracurricular activities uh, part, uh, it was. I uh, mean, it's not like that. It's always we have to study, study, study. Means there's also a scope for extracurricular activities. We uh, no time we got a an opportunity, a very good opportunity to perform there, uh, uh, organize a cultural program there. Uh, it's an abode of uh, many talents. Somebody's uh, talented in uh, tabla. Somebody's ta talented in different instru in uh, instruments. Somebody's talented in music. I mean, it's a complete uh, homely atmosphere. The uh, one of the greatest factors that has led us means that it's actually we are um, it's, it's like a home away from home that's it and um, also um, this is the extracurricular part 
Hi, this is Anish Chakraborty. Uh, greetings to one and all on behalf of University of Engineering and Management. Well, today I'm here to actually share with you my personal experiences being with UEM. UEM, as we all know, that it's a relatively new inductee into the list of uh, universities in India. But then UEM has been really unique apart from all the other universities. First of all, let me talk about the academics that the university is actually known for. The academic profile out there is really high. The student-teacher relationship is quite friendly. The faculty is always ever ready to provide any sort of help uh, to get a student to clear his or her doubts. There are innumerable doubt clearing sessions based on any topic. Mostly the faculties are there within the campus so there is no problem for a student even if he is uh, like not able to understand anything in class he or she may actually go beyond class timings and consult the cons uh, faculty. Apart from this uh, we come to the fooding and living out there. The fooding is quite good. The mess is run by the students themselves. The, it inculcates a sense of leadership and management within the students and it's an unofficial part of the curriculum. It actually helps you to learn in a lot of ways. And the food quality is quite good. There's a separate uh, veg and non-veg uh, canteen for food. And the living is quite good. There are spacious rooms within the hostels with uh, a seating capacity of four. And there, uh, the hostel is well equipped with state-of-the-art infrastructure and gyms. There's a music room. There are provisions for all sorts of physical, outdoor games and indoor games. And apart from this, even during its uh, infancy, let me tell you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the university has created a name in the field of uh, co-curricular activities. It's quite a name to reckon with, with its uh, performances in Jaipur, Durga Bari. It's created a name for itself. There's a niche of the university in the in university circuit and hoping in the coming few months and in its uh, years, we get to participate in a lot more inter-university programs so that uh, we can actually bring more laurels and glory to the university. Apart from this, uh, the campus is quite uh, well located on National Highway 8. It's uh, really well connected by trains, buses and airs. The closest airport being uh, the Jaipur Airport and the railway station being the Jaipur Railway Station. Apart from this, uh, it is well connected to the national capital of Delhi. There are 24 hours bus services, train services connecting Jaipur, Jaipur and Delhi and uh, the campus is located not very far from the city of Jaipur. It's quite lush green and there are quite a few, uh, uh, the ambience is quite uh, homely. Uh, on, my, on a personal note, uh, IEM, as we all know, it's been one of the leading groups in, in the educational point of view in the eastern part of the country. And we've been, so we've been actually like influenced by IEM. It's quite a name to reckon with and hoping that UEM actually gets to take up, uh, take forward the name uh, that's been created by IEM in the eastern zone. Hoping to see you all there. Thank you. Hi, my name is Yushurva Goswami. Uh, I joined University of Engineering Management this session and uh, in engineering and in University of Engineering Man Management uh, at first I will like to uh, inform you about the academic uh, studies uh, academics and studies uh, in University of Engineering and Management uh, there is a uh, huge space for study and uh, in University and Management mm. uh, it is a, I think it is the only university where you can access the teachers and faculties at uh, even at time of midnight also. They will clear uh, our doubts. Uh, for, uh, they will clear our doubts at every at every moment, every time, whenever we want, whenever we want them. And the and the teachers and faculties are so it is so good and uh, highly qualified that they can uh, uh, highly qualified that they can uh, they are. Well, I am Akashnil Bishash and I am from Kolkata. Well, I was uh, studying in uh, in a different college before joining UEM and you know you will get uh, lots of fake promises in different universities what are going on. 
but after we i joined uni uem i got the every each and every promise are being kept in the university and uh, you will get a big lush green campus it's a huge building and air cooled uh, class uh, classrooms there are separate uh, hostels for boys and girls you will get uh, quality food the mess is run by students and the main part of the of our university is our education discipline and its faculties you will have a lot lots and lots of good faculties who are ready for you any time in the day or in the midnight or any any time you want to study they are always ready for you you will get a good hostel to live in and of course you will get a good food and the classrooms are really good you can uh, have a good classrooms in in fact we have a large laboratories as well as seminar halls we have a good uh, computer laboratories and uh, the management is always always uh, thinking about the students how we can be, uh, better how uh, how to have a betterment of the university and uh, that's all we are uh, there we are, we have been arranged uh, lots of trips outside jaipur in uh, we have visited lots of place from uh, university has uh, organized lots of trips for the students in jaipur and other places uh, so that's it Here the libraries are really updated with the modern journals and the up latest version of the books uh, needed for reference in the entire curriculum. Apart from this, the library has a e uh, format where you can actually access the library via the internet. And apart from this, uh, the university has an uh, entirely Wi-Fi enabled campus where you are actually able to connect to the net and stay updated to the latest happenings around the world with uh, the day to day affairs and on a personal note uh, my learning experience has been quite a uh, it's been like a pleasant learning experience with the university in the last three and a half months we've actually grown from strength to strength and we've actually learned from each and every experience of each and every day that has passed it's been a very supportive journey on even on the part of the management in uh, in its initial few years it's been really supportive about the students and their academics and extracurricular activities apart from this what sets uem aside that's the main question that here arises that what sets uem aside apart from all the other universities and technical colleges springing up across the country i would just like to say here we believe in preparing a professional and not just manufacturing engineers